Well, there's my cousin's house. Well, it was my cousin Lisa, but her ex-husband could never get it together to buy this, buy this house off his parents. He had like, I don't know, a million years to do it. So when he got divorced and the wife, my cousin, left, uh, the oldest son ended up getting it. And he's paying it off from, you know, buying off uh, his grandparent, parent. I think there's only one left on that side, on both sides. But the, my cousin was like, oh, he painted it an ugly color. I think it looks cool. It looks like uh, something out of the 60s. Especially, look at that, 1657. That's cool. I think it looks really cool. It's like a really that tacky 60s look. The green, I know it's matching that green there where it says his name, the Hillquist. So it works. But, uh, yeah, whatever he does with that. I wouldn't paint that, that, but he could and get away with it. But he's done so much work to this house in just several, a few years than his dad ever did. I mean, it was pretty sad looking and now it's got a really nice lawn. I think he's doing a good job. I loaned him a drum set. Someone, uh, I got a drum set, I gave it to him to hold on to and I wanted to make sure, do not sell it. But he's never home. He's a construction guy, and they usually get off like at three. And it's, I think, three uh, local time. Anyways, yeah, because I can see the uh, symbol stand, or not the symbol, but the hi hat stand is in the garage thing. I hope that's not mine. And I don't, I can never find this guy's number. Uh, so it is 3, 302. His wife isn't here, which is weird because she's got two little babies. And where the heck can you go with two little babies? But she's not here. I've only stopped by out of the five or six times that I've stopped by. I stop by every year. They've only been here once. The first time I stopped by, they were at the hospital, but they were, you know, it was a, you know. First pregnancies usually don't take. The first time a girl gets pregnant doesn't take. It's usually the second because the body's rejecting it. I know this because I've got so many girls pregnant. So, anyways, and you know that's just fact. So, but there you go. Uh, he's not home. Here's some typical nerdy, like you know Napoleon Dynamite. This is what Napoleon Dynamite kids actually look like, just in Southern Utah. They think they're skaters, but look at his shorts. Homo! But, you know, he'll figure that out as he ages. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, so, see how beautiful, beautiful it is? There's no, there's clouds, it's 60 degrees, it's beautiful. I don't even want to leave, but it's getting late. So if it's three this time, it's two at California time, so hmm. if I drive slow and stop everywhere like at Malapa Indian place for fireworks and I don't know, I won't stop in Vegas, but I'll stop at uh, State Line and then I'll stop at uh, Barstow. And that should kill two or three hours there. So I'm trying to add time. So I hit the 210 freeway at about 9 or 10 o'clock at night. So I don't have to worry about traffic or anything. And that I get home at a time. You know, so I'm not too dead tired. Because I hate getting home at like 3. 
because I don't want to unload the car. I, mean, I usually don't want to unload the car when I get home at 11, but... Uh... Yeah, I, I might wait here for a minute, and then I'm going to just go. So... And there's a, a Mormon... I, you know, who knows who's Mormon and who's not here? It's so weird. It's, you can't just assume they're all members of the church. It used to be, yep, except for one or two outsiders and a Jack Mormon. But, like, this guy, he was in two years ago, now he's out. You know, 20, and he's figuring it out for himself. He's like... Everybody in the church doesn't think the same. Well, you don't want to be in a robotic church like that. And that's the way Christ taught, you know. He'll tell you, and then you got to figure it out. Through the, you know, with the help of the Spirit. What's true, what's not, what do you have to... Everybody takes it different. And that's the trouble with churches, especially big ones, and ones like this one. Is everybody thinks they need to be a robot. No facial hair. No uh, tattoos. No piercings, which I took all mine out, so it doesn't matter. And, uh, you know. And those go along. Facial hair, that is an old, 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 old thing that they need to do away with because that was to kind of change the image of the church from all the guys looking like old cult leaders because <laughs> they all you know Brigham Young only had a beard for like two years and that's when all those pictures were taken otherwise he was clean shaven so and the first the prophet he couldn't grow a beard so he didn't grow a beard and the second one didn't. He had a beard, but it was a weird one. They all had those beards with no mustache, like I, I like, but I, I don't know. So there you go. I ain't going to go into another spiel. There's my cousin Dave Hillquest Jr.'s house and his wife and two kids. And You know, why can't anybody hand me a house? Like, here's a house. Not a piece of junk. But a house. I'd even take a piece of junk. And then, you know. But no, I've had to buy everything. I've had to buy my first everything. Which is good. It builds character. Blah, da, 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 da. I don't want anybody to hand me anything. I don't even like being, you know. When I got in the wreck. And had to get government help for the uh, medical stuff. But. I didn't know I was going to have a $3 million medical bill either, so. Life just comes at you, and it just keeps on coming, throwing them, throwing them friggin' curve balls. My balls are curved ones. Okay, so that's it. I'm going, I, I was going to wait, but how long should I wait? You know what, I'm going to wait till 3.30, and then I'm out of here. 3.30 local time. But I'm not going to talk that long. It's already been... 8 minutes. See ya.